Once you guys have your battery inserted in your data collector, you need to uh, put the data collector onto the mount. First thing you need to do is make sure that it's in the unlock position. There's an image here of a lock and an unlock, and make sure it's slide over to the correct location. There's a bottom lip uh, located on the bottom of the data collector that matches in here with the bottom of the clip. Once you have that uh, locked in that clip, all you do is press down on the data collector to engage it into the clip. Once it's uh, locked down, you want to make sure you press the lock over and give the data collector a good wiggle and make sure it does not come off the clip. That way it will not fall off and get damaged. Uh, once you have inserted your battery into the antenna, you will want to press and hold the power button on the top, so one on the left, until you see the green lights here populate on the bottom here. Once that is done, you're going to want to loosen the collar on the pole and pull the rod up until the push buttons lock into the pole. Once that happens, you're going to want to lock the lock collar so the pole doesn't have any movement on it. The next step is to turn the data collector on, pressing and holding the power button located here. Once the uh, software is turned on, you'll have uh, a couple of options here. It first asks you which type of measuring uh, system are you going to use. Are you going to use GPS first, or are you going to use a robot, or are you going to use them at the exact same time? For this demonstration, we're going to say we're going to use GPS only, and we're going to hit the next button. The next uh, option it's going to ask you is which job do you want to work in? They ask you do you want to work in your last job, do you want to create a new job, or choose an existing one? In this example, I'm just going to say, continue on my last job, I'm going to hit next. Okay, once you're in the main survey screen, you want to make sure that you're receiving radio connections uh, via this symbol here on a lightning bolt that pulsates. You'll also notice that lightning bolt pulsating here on a light here. Okay, that means you're receiving information. When you have a solid green light here and a crosshair, that means you're receiving high accuracy. You'll also notice on the bottom of your screen, your 3D quality, your number should be in an acceptable range before you start measuring. All right, to measure your point, you first want to go to go to work. The next option that you want to do is go into survey. On your survey screen, you have a couple of boxes here. This is your point ID. You can put any kind of point number that you want, for example, 100, 1000, and press enter. Okay. Next, you have an option for a code. If you're using a code, for example, ground shot, you can tap on the code and type in GRN. Okay, I'm going to hit enter. Once your code and your point ID are set correctly and your 3D quality are in acceptable range, you can press the OK button to start your measurement. Once you, get, yeah, once you get to about three or four RTK positions here, and your accuracy is still good, you can press the OK button to stop the measurement, and the OK button to store the points. Once the point is stored, you'll notice that your point ID has changed to one number up. To find a point that uh, uh, you have measured or have typed in, what you need to do is go to work and go to the stakeout icon. Once you press the stakeout icon, it's going to ask you for what your control job is. Now your control job is most likely the same job that you are working in, but you can drop it down from the list and confirm that. Once you uh, highlight the correct job, you press OK and OK once again. Next, you need to select from a list the point that you wish to measure. Now the screen will tell you on the right here to go back, go left, go forward, go right to the location of that point. Once you are over that point and with the correct tolerances, you can press the OK button to measure that point. Once you have collected enough RTK positions, you can press stop and then store once again with the OK button. To export your data, first go to the jobs and data icon. Then go down to the export and copy data icon. Now select the export ASCII data icon and select what job you wish to export. 
then press OK. It will ask you, do you want to export any more data? Select No. Then put the data collector onto the docking station and wait for the computer to connect to it. You will have this mobile device center pop up. Make sure you only connect to uh, without setting up your device. If you use these settings, your Outlook calendar and uh, emails will be loaded onto the device. So make sure you only use this setting. Okay. Once you're inside the device, click on File Management and browse the contents of your device. The data is stored in a few levels under the device here. You're going to click on the one that just has the slash here, and that is for the internal memory. If you have data stored on the SD card or the compact flash card, you will see the SD card here and a compact flash card here also. So select the device. Now select like a geo systems. Now select SmartWorks Viva and select the data folder you will now see your ASCII file here. You can then save your file to any location that you would like and close up the window. All right, first insert the USB drive correctly in the device. Now go to Jobs and Data, select the Export and Copy Data icon, select the Export ASCII Data icon, select the Export to drop down to USB. Okay. Once you select your correct job, press OK. The export is now complete. Do you wish to export any more data? No. Once you're, you're in the main screen, it is safe to remove the USB drive. <laughs> Insert the USB into the lap, the computer correctly. And then open the file. Go open the data folder, and then there is your ASCII file. That's it.